Right folks, I managed to climb up the hill, crossed over, there were some electricians working on um, the local electricity, putting new poles in. They said they see me coming from way over. I thought, God, I'm stuck out that much, did I? Right, so we managed to do that. Oh, look at that bee, busy. It's spring, you see. Look at that bee. Hello. You're full of pollen, aren't you? Hey? Pollen sacks were full. All the flowers are out, there's like primroses, um, these sort of, they look a bit like African violets, but they're primroses I think. They're very pretty aren't they? Very pretty. Daffodils are really out now. All the way down there look, whole avenue of them. Yeah, it's nice to come round all seasons to see the... It's like our Worldbury Woods now. It's nesting season. They won't be allowed to cut those trees down, I wouldn't have thought. Apart from the ones that are storm damaged. Everyone I've met has been friendly. They've had lovely smiles on their faces because the sun's out. Now I've got quite hot going up that hill, so what I've just done is take the scarf off, no hat and gloves for quite a while anyway, and tied my hair up. <sighs> Tying my hair up is a really good cooling effect. I've still got my coat on at the moment. But I should imagine once I've climbed up towards Robero Hill for it, it'll be nearly time to tie it up. Um, I was going to tie it up, but then there were some workmen there and I thought, oh, I won't rest here too long. I got my water out, got the uh, camera stuff more accessible ready for them when the battery goes um, on this one I've said to Kazara said oh you should still put all your videos on mum even if they are same routes and all that people do follow you and people you've got different things to say even if it's the same place and um, but I thought sometimes what I do I won't put them on till later some some I do, it depends. It does depend. And I like to do them in chronological order, really. Because events flow that way. So I'm going through this little copse. Shipham's down there. I just took a picture of Robo Hill Fort in the distance. That will be a visit later in the year. Or not that, not that long. Um, I've got to try and fit in some new walks though. I've got to start thinking of um, doing some different exploring during the summer months. I want to go to Bath. That's another thing. I want to go to Bath. I haven't been there as a grown-up, to be quite honest. I've passed through it loads of times. I haven't, I haven't visited it and done the baths or visited the cathedral or anything. So it's only a short journey really from where I live. I think you might have to get two trains. Now keep your fingers crossed everyone that I don't come across cows in the field approaching soon. It's a possibility. I am really enjoying strolling here. Oh, my breathing's much better today. 
and I have just want to go at this pace. It's better for my knee at the moment as well because um, yesterday I had to have a new heat pad on it all day for over 12 hours and it did work. I put loads of deep heat cream on before going to bed. Knee pa heat pads aren't easy to keep on your knee. Um, I do need some sort of knee support in the future I think. Maybe because it's um, it's not through old age. I fell putting curtains up once and badly whacked and landed on my knee in a funny angle and it has never been the same since. I did get seen by a physio once but uh, all they do at my age, so it recommended you probably need a knee, knee op. Well, I don't believe I do. I think it was an injury. So, I wouldn't race to have any elective surgery done. Personally, I wouldn't. The anaesthetic to you is the is big of risk as you get older. Big risk, I, I think it is. Personally, that's my personal view. I'm allowed to say it if I want. <sighs> Not because it'll kill you exactly, but because it'll send you do lally. <sighs> See any cows so far? See a man with a dog? So I haven't videoed coming this way for a while. It could be only a year. I tend to do this walk both ways in a year, depending on what I'm doing. Um, but I know the cows will be out soon. Very, very soon. They're all holding them in because they know there's going to be some sunshine. The farmers know. And they also know that the grass will grow a bit more lusher. They want to wait for this severe murk to dry up a bit as well. Do you know what I mean? What's the best way to walk, Shell? Down there, I think. Down there. It's mucky, but it's mucky as up here. I'm showing you the terrain I'm walking on, everyone, and I'm using my stick to balance to help me balance trying to walk on the turfs that's too steep and the grass can be slippery so I'm not going that way my walks might appeal to people with breathing difficulties people who fear cows <clears throat> people who are older so, so let them know that they can get out. You don't always have to have a chaperone. But if you don't feel safe, I'll take one with you. I'm, I'm, I'm a lone wolf in many ways. I like people. I am gregarious as well. But I couldn't video properly if I had somebody with me. It'd be a different walk. I'd be too busy talking to them. I'd probably take photos. Right, we're out. No sign of cow pack. And as you'll notice throughout the summer now, my walks will be greatly influenced by cows, whether they're about or not. Right, now right over there, I'll just zoom in, is Rowbarrow Hill Fort, the top of Rowbarrow Hill Fort. You can see part of the what would have been the palisade, the, the, the barrier that goes round a, a hill fort. I stood on there not that long ago. I've been over there. And I will be over there again at some point. Robur Warren, the tall pine trees are waiting for me. Old cow pack, look. Not that old. Not that old, look. And like I say, I haven't been in this field for a while, but that is not ancient cow pack. They might just redistributed the cows. That that is not ancient. It's a couple. It's a week, good couple of weeks maybe. 
They might still be out, but in, the, in another field. I'm walking over somewhere over there as a gate I've got to get through. Then I go walking up the lane through the village up to the woods there and into the woods. But from here, look at these lovely views. Now, if you look at the landscape here, it's very humpy bumpy. There's a name for it that the surface miners used, and it's the the effects of the mining, the surface mine left all these pits and bumps. It's actually got a name. I can't remember it off the top of my head though. Um, trying to find the path is not easy. There's somebody with a dog over there. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to follow the path. I might better get through there, but I'm not sure. But then look at those lovely views. I'm going to zoom into the Banwell Hill Fort again, which is identified by the large tree on the top. And I've mentioned it to you before, I've picnicked under that tree. No sound of cows up there either at the moment. Western Supermare, where I live, over there. Then you've got the quarry, which you can't see on that hill there, the quarry, the Sanford Quarry, over there. Just seen the easy jet landing at Bristol Airport with the naked eye. Yeah, you've got the um, Banwell over there. Yeah, all these humpy bumpy things, I've mentioned it before and um, I've got a feeling online there's a whole article written by a bloke called Athey who had um, miners from Shipham and Robero who wrote some booklet on it all. I can't remember what you call it. Um, not puddling. It is, it's some sort of name that it, <laughs> the surface mining, it, it, the effects of it. There's a name for it all. And as mentioned before, my deceased third cousin Barbara from Canada has got relatives who were miners in um, Shipham and Robero. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I can't remember if I did it or not now. Yeah, I did get the death certificate of one of her great great grandmothers. I've got a, I can't remember what it said now. I need to find that again. I can't remember what it said. Oh yeah, she had some sort of brain trauma. Now, that could mean anything. She wasn't that old. That can mean anything from a, a stroke to a blow to the head. Um, it makes you wonder, you know. I mean, you've got to be careful what you say, but... He did seem to get married very quick after her death and leave the country quickly, slightly. Do you know what I mean? So... But her brother, Alice Hale's brother, confirms a lot of the information about their mother. So, they've only got to look at the more, a little bit more detail, really, to realise I was on the right track. I knew I was. I knew I was. There's probably another way through there you can go see, which I don't know about. So this is Shipham, coming into the back of Shipham now on a lovely sunny day. I just walked through that wood up there. I've got a long way to go yet. 
I'm taking it steady at the moment though because of my knee and um, I've got the once the what I call the worst part is in a minute going up the lane but what I have noticed it does seem to take me less time for some reason um, I always used to think oh no not that but I do actually seem to do things quite well so we've got another star to get over then we go on a on a road a lane a small B road leading us to Row Barrow Warren so here we go folks I'm going to turn off for a minute <laughs> 